Tomatoes are all about summer and hot weather. So if you have them growing in your veggie patch or you see them at your local market, now is the time to be harvesting and enjoying them. Now what I love about tomatoes is the diversity of varieties that we've currently got available. Meg, can you tell me a little bit about the different types and what you personally enjoy eating? Well, there's so many to choose from. I, I grow on about 30 different varieties. One of my favourite is, uh, is the Stupis. That's a potato leaf variety um, and it's quite an early cropper and then it's a tigerella which is a nice little stripy one. So just quickly the potato leaf variety that's because the leaves look like the potato plants. Yes they're cousins. they're cousins. They're cousins? Yeah. Oh wow that's interesting and so what elements would you look for if you're choosing tomatoes what should you? Well at first you have to think what you want to use tomatoes for you can get sourcing tomatoes ones that are good for slicing there's all your cherries and there's different colours there's yellows oranges purples reds. And tell me a lot of people say that Homegrown tomatoes taste a lot different to the supermarket varieties. They do, yeah. The supermarket varieties are often bred for travelling. They have to travel a long way to get to the supermarket. Whereas your homegrown varieties, they can concentrate on flavour and they can stay on the bush for longer so the sugars can develop and you get that, that, that richer tomato flavour, for sure. Interesting. Now, I have to ask you, Meg, are you a pruner or a non-pruner? Uh, yes, well, my father was a pruner, um, so yes, I am a pruner. Actually, it does depend on the variety of tomato. There are lots of sort of low-growing bush tomatoes, um, tomato varieties that don't need pruning, mm -hmm. but your taller ones, I tend to still prune, yeah. You still, you say you are? OK, yes. interesting. Well, look, thanks so much for today. I hope this has inspired a lot of people to go out and cook up some tomatoes this weekend, and we'll see you next week.